recent Awake Together Summit, we sat down with sleep apnea patients and asked them to discuss their advice to new sleep apnea patients. This is Brian Delaney. Learn as much as you can and become your own advocate. Don't depend on your doctor to know everything because you know, you're the patient, so you need to be the person that knows everything. So learn as much as you can about your own treatment, your own uh, health, and you be your advocate and you solve your own issue by uh, education and awareness and helping others. With sleep apnea, there's a lack of uh, knowledge and education out there. So once the conversation started, you know, it's a, it's a good thing for people to learn. You know, I, I run a Facebook page called Fun With Sleep Apnea, and that's what I do. I use humor to educate and keep people aware. You know, I always tell people, uh, uh, treat it like it's not optional, and then it becomes easy. Just get it treated, that's the answer. Just do it, there's really no other option. This is Karen Wolk. Generally, there's this apprehension to even want to acknowledge it because the therapy looks scary. And um, I gave it my best you know, all of the therapy. And I would tell you the therapy isn't the scary part. The scary part is what happens when it, you're not doing it. Um, when you just give up, I could have just given up when I was told that I wasn't improving. I could have just said no more. But advocating for yourself or for your loved ones is so important because otherwise there is no hope. And um, I think that having a, a place where you can meet, talk to people, or a place where you can go online and connect with people, it, I've talked to people all over the country that are suffering needlessly to take away the stigma so that people will accept it just like they do any other medical condition. And I think that's the whole purpose. And to keep people from giving up hope and, and um, just giving up in general. This is Janice Sternfeld. We as patients get to see other people going through the same things. And that support is... Uh, very valuable to know other people are going through it, to hear how other people handle it, to um, share with other people things that might help them. It can be a difficult journey, but it's worth sticking with because the benefits are worth the effort. This is Adam Amder. I would like to see my, my population, our awake community engaged so that they can go back to their awake meetings in person or online and share this knowledge and keep building our community. We have a pathway to start leading for cures. We wanna raise the funds so we can start to educate people about what needs to be done. And that's our job. We can't wait for the sleep field or anyone else to pick us up and do what needs to be done. We've had, we've had to become our own advocates because we've been living with a chronic disease that goes anywhere between 10 to 20 years before it's ever diagnosed, let alone treated correctly. This is Bray Patrick Lake. My message to people living with sleep apnea is to collect their data and try to take control. I know it can feel very scary when you're living with a disease, your life is upside down, you're attending medical appointments, you're trying to get things paid for, but collect your data, find ways to share it, work with foundations like American Sleep Apnea Association who can help you utilize your data and advocate for you to have a voice in medical product development and in reimbursement and access to medical products. For more information, visit our website, sleepapnea.org, the American Sleep Apnea Association.